Cebu Governor Gwen Garcia and over 60 local officials from Negros Occidental resigned from PDP Laban, the party of former President Rodrigo Duterte. Meanwhile, in the Senate, some majority members are considering switching to the minority following the ouster of former Senate President Mig Zubiri. Here's the report. Senator Joel Villanueva, who was former Senate Majority Leader, is seriously considering joining the Senate minority following that surprise leadership change last week. Villanueva even said that he was spoken with Senate Minority Leader Coco Pimentel about this. And Pimentel told him that former Senate President Subiris Group, the so-called Solid 7, is welcome to join the minority. I am entertaining the idea maybe I'd be better as uh, part of the minority or probably lead the, the, the opposition in the Senate. Since the senators of the 19th Congress took office, only Senators Pimentel and Risa Honteveros were the minority. We, we admire Senator Coco and Senator Risa as members of the opposition of the minority in the Senate kasi talagang sila yung lahat ng bagay tinitignan nila, ini-scrutinize nila para ma-check yung ginagawa ng majority. Imagine if there are more fiscalizers, if there are more uh, checkers to ensure that uh, every bill, every uh, measure that we are uh, tackling and passing in the Senate would really help the best interests of our people. Bill and Weva says some other members of the so-called Solid 7 have also expressed openness in joining the minority bloc. This includes Zubiri, J.V. Urhercito, Nancy Binay, and Sonny Angara. Senate President Chis Escudero has earlier said that his line of communication with the group of Bill and Weva is open. But for Bill and Weva, they first have to calm their emotions while the session is on break. So lahat po yan, uh, uh, buo yung options. And of course, bu buhay din yung option to talk to the Senate President and find out how we could be of help, saan paraan kami makakatulong. Senator Ejercito shares the same view. He believes that eventually the new leadership has to talk to the Solid 7, but only after emotions have cooled off and after they have decided which direction to take moving forward. Senate President Escudero noted though that Tis and Zubiris camps are not rivals. Hindi ko naman sila iniiwasan. Wala ako nakikita ang rason para hindi kami maging, uh, maging maayos ang relasyon. Bagaman magkaiba ang panaraw namin sa ilang mga bagay. Meanwhile, 60 local government officials from Negros Occidental have resigned as members of PDP, the former ruling party. According to its provincial chairman, Mayor Alfredo Benitez, the officials tendered their mass resignation from the political party on Saturday. Speaking about this resignation, Benitez said, and I quote, as PDP members, we were not even invited to gatherings and meetings. What do you expect? It's not as if we did not heed their call. End of quote. But it's not just them. Cebu Governor Quen Garcia also resigned from the political party, citing political differences and irreconcilable conflict with other members. Garcia submitted her resignation letter to PDP Laban's President, Palawan Representative Jose Alvarez. For News 5, Camille Samonte, we are One News.